Hello everyone, Josh up here. Today, I'd like to demonstrate to you guys on how to operate Casio 904 module, a very vintage G-Shock watch, which I'm very sure not a lot of people own today, but well, if you own one, at least you could learn a thing or two in this video. They have six button operation and they are covered with this bezel for the button guard, but that's really gonna be uh, annoying for me to operate so in order to make sure that this video runs smoothly i'm gonna need to remove the bezel first like so so that i could easily press and you guys could see which button i'm pressing as well so bezel out this is all that we're gonna operate with and the special thing about the watch is only about the chronograph so that is all that i'm gonna explain pressing smooth button once and we'll enter the chronograph mode with target time function and to set the target time all you need to do is press this it just on top there it is i already set it up to 30 second mark you can set this using this two button at the center left and right to one minute or 59 minutes so i'm gonna leave it at 30 seconds only you can set it up to to the very second to one over thousand seconds precision so that is really impressive in my opinion press adjust and next you could set up this um distance since the watch will use this time and distance to measure speed so that's why you're gonna need to set it up in here as well so all the way to 100 kilometers this is one kilometers this is 110 and one meter so you get the idea uh just set it up to one kilometers only or oh, 1000 meters press adjust and we are good to go so now we already have two information stored in the watch right so i'm gonna need to write them down over here we have our distance information which is 1.0 kilometers and we also have our target time information which is 30.0 uh, second right so the watch could already calculate speed using these two information as being stated over here there it is 120 so well speed equal to distance divided by time which will equals to 120 uh, point zero kilometer per hour you could uh, calculate on yourself but that is uh, the result over there and if i press this button over here nothing gonna appear because we haven't start our top watch so first i'm just going to demonstrate the uh, target time function press this red button over here and start the function the watch will remind you at the last 16 seconds before you reach your target time so this graphics over here will synchronize with the seconds over here every five seconds and when we reach uh, 14 there it is you'll hear a beep and this graphics will now become as a count in feature until you reach your target time in this case 30 second and let's just wait so you hear a beep right when you reach a 14 second mark and zero 30 second reach and it will move backwards until 15 second after just to show you guys how many minutes has passed after i'm sorry how many seconds has passed after your target time you could stop this over here if you wanted to and reset it back to zero and that's that is all for target time all right moving on to lap function press this button over here start this as as usual so i'm gonna need to record all of this uh time first lap over here let's stop this thing over a little bit the reason why the watch beep just now is because our first lap is better than our target time of 30 seconds so first lap is I'm sorry first lap is 10.258 second and the watch will at the same time calculate the speed at your first lap as well so that is 350.946 so quite fast right If you press this uh, center uh, left button, you'll end up with this data instead. This will be the uh, target speed just now, and this will be over here, right? This will be the time towards your target time. So your target time is 30 seconds. You are now at 10.258 seconds. So you are 19.742 seconds left towards your target time. So that is the time difference actually. And over here, when you press this center right button, 10.258 is the time uh, 
the time difference between your starting time and current time so that's obviously 10.258 you'll see how it goes after this let's proceed with the second example so our second lap will begin at so this will be the first lap time right so this down here will be the second lap time so i'm gonna move to there it is 13.422 it will be for three seconds because it is still better than our target time so let's just uh continue over here real quick second uh, lap will be at 13.422 second and at a speed of 268.216 And the time difference between here, 3.164 is the time di difference between your first lap and your second lap. So over here, the time difference is 3.164. 3.164 over here. Plus, because this one is greater than the previous one. And over here, 16.578 is the time difference between your this lap towards your target time is now so 16.578 so let's proceed to next uh, example basically it is still the same thing you know all right stop this all right our third lap third lap is at 10.965 our speed is 328.316 three one seven and the time difference is negative two point four five seven because this one is uh, lesser than the previous one so the time difference between these two is negative two point four five seven and the time difference between this time towards your target time is now is nineteen point zero three five seconds so let, you could just proceed this as always and it will basically repeat itself over and over again so let's uh, quickly make a quick example now for our fourth lap like so so now we are reaching our uh, target time right so i'm gonna press this after we reach our target time so you guys can see one more example all right there you go you don't hear any one of those five beat anymore because we already reach over our target time we are now at 34.890 our speed is 103.181 103.181 cam h cam h this is second 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 so the time difference is plus 23 over here the gap is plus 23.925 and our uh, time difference between target time target and difference look at that target and difference so the difference between this time and our target time of 30 seconds is 4.890 so that's it before you reset all these informations do record this last time over here so we start our measurement at 0, 0.0 second we end our measurement we don't know when we end but we know we have this one point three 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 second until we end our time which is somewhere around here end whatever like so all right reset to zero and now let's move on to recall mode okay now our first data is let's let me hold on hold on let me plot our time over here so we have a chart uh, we start over here goes to here we start at zero our target time is 30.0 we end at this is uh, target this is start so our first lap zero one first lap is at this will be first lap at 10.258 second 
this will be the lapse time this will be the lap time next zero two our second lap is at second lap is at 23.680 laps time the difference here is 13.422 time over there next third lap third lap oh sorry over sorry three seconds should be over here yeah i should have drawn over here third lap over here not this one ignore this 34.645 the time gap between here to here is 10.965 the fourth lap is at 1 minute 9 second move all the way down the fourth lap where is it all right fourth one minute zero nine point five three five second the time gap between these two is 34.890 seconds so you get the idea right basically this is how it goes so I, think I don't have any razor with me sorry guys sorry with, with, with the mess basically the last one would be 133 that we recorded just now there it is 1333 it goes over here we end at 1 the time difference is 1333 second so this is the flow of our lap and the time difference and uh, yeah that is it and when I, we end our we basically our laps time over there so what this watch will do for you now is just show you guys all this data the time and if you press this button over here it will show you the best time so out of all four recorded time the best will be 10.258 which be the first data as you can see the first one is the fastest out of all four so this is it sorry this one is the fastest and with a speed of 350946 if this become the fastest it will register in this speed so as you can see it didn't store any more of this one two three informations all these informations over here a lot of these are just gone it only stored the most fastest one and basically the time difference and the lapse time at each lap that is all you can store in up to 10 units if you exceed that amount it will erase the first one and keep repeating itself and that is all that you have in this chronograph function for this g-shock watch well the best way for you to understand this is obviously by experimenting on your own but however i hope you find this video a little bit more useful at least you have a rough idea already what to do what to expect how to operate the watch and all using this example i hope you guys found this video a little bit more useful informative and entertaining thank you very much for watching this is jeshf and um